Hi everybody. I am back. It's been a little while. I was down with a pretty bad cold and considering what we're all going through right now as as a world, as a nation, um, I was a little concerned that I might be coming down with the big bug, but I think it's it's stayed pretty much just cold symptoms. Um, I'm not really feeling anything that would have sent me to the doctor prior to this virus. Um, you know, normally you get a cold, you take cold medicine, you rest, you do all the stuff you do for a cold, which is what I've been doing. So, um, you know, I had a, a slight fever for a day and a half, two days, and then that's been gone for like three days. But just I've been feeling generally crappy, having furnace trouble again. I've thrown so much money and so many parts at this old furnace. Um, so put a couple more parts on and we're, we're back and warm in the house. So anyways, um, just wanted to let you know where I've been cause it's been a week probably. But anyways, um, I bought this art, my art C stencil cutter. I used a Michael's coupon. It runs on three AA batteries, so I just thought I would give it a try today. I also got these stencil blanks. Um, I got three 9 by 18 sheets. Uh, it's a pretty decent um, weight of mylar, but it's called Show Off's Decorative Stencil Stencil Blanks. So <clears throat> those were on sale, so I got those. So I just printed out a line drawing of a simple, pretty simple flower and put it under the stencil blank, drew it around, drew around it with a sharpie. And I should be able to get a cutting mat here. I'm not sure how well this glass mat will take the heat. I'm just going to put this one underneath it. I'm not sure how this one will do either, come to think of it. This might be worse. That might melt. I kind of don't think that's supposed to be for heat. Tempered glass, it should be fine with the heat. The thing I didn't realize when I bought this is this white button right here. You have to hold it in in order for the tip to get hot, which is a great safety feature, but I think my hand's probably going to cramp, and then you have to wait for it to get hot. So I'm just holding it. I have a couple more here. I want to try some butterflies. I thought this one might be kind of cool. Try and cut her out. And this one, this part wouldn't be hard at all. This would just take some patience, but I like that too. So we'll see how this simple flower goes. So, okay, let's see. I have a like a wood burning tool with a point on it that I've used in the past. See this it's just too easy when you're pressing to press that whole switch into the off position. So let's just see how that well, well it worked good. What do we got on my mat? Yep, it's got yep. Well, maybe those are scratches from before. I didn't think these mats were supposed to scratch, but mine's got tons of scratches, and I don't usually use sharp stuff. I am going to get a piece of picture frame glass to put under this. Okay, I just took a piece of glass from a picture frame, which is now under there. I don't care if that is... And I don't know how fast this heats up either. As we can tell, yeah, by the way it either goes through the material or it doesn't. I'm just going to go around on that line 
twice. Well, it doesn't take that much to get it cut. It's kind of sliding. I suppose as it heats up more, it's just going to slide on the mylar more. Thank goodness that light is on there because if you accidentally push this switch, there's the on off switch and the little buttons there. It's real easy to switch it off when you don't really want to. did this wrong you guys. I shouldn't have cut these center pieces out. I'm not going to have those now. See by cutting the I should have left this middle piece inside. I want to just see if I can heat this up and I think maybe just the tip heats to clean up and melt these edges a little bit to so I don't have rough edges. Um, I looked all over. This stencil cutter came with very, very rudimentary instructions. Nowhere does it say in the instructions to hold this button down to heat it up. So, <laughs> but I went online to see if they do have a website to see if there were instructions there. Um, as to, you know, the best way to use this and whatever and I couldn't find anything nothing and I couldn't find where they were being sold anymore either so it must be something that's discontinued the company's not selling it anymore that's probably why it was half price at Michael's just something that they're not gonna make anymore I've been wanting just some kind of a flower stencil. I don't really have much in the way of flowers. I just have a lot of background stencils. So, I thought I'd start there. It seemed like the simplest one to do. I'm starting to think 
exacto knife is easier which is the first way I ever did a stencil either that or I just need to practice with this more to get better control over it just don't like holding this button down I think if I'd have known that I wouldn't have bought it I get that it's a safety thing, which is good, but kind of a pain at the same time. Yeah, it's not hot enough yet. Maybe just letting go of that for just the, those few seconds, and it cooled down enough that it wasn't going to cut right away. Okay. Now let's see if I can clean this up in here a little bit. The thing I don't want to have to do is cut it with this and then clean it out with an X-Acto knife. That kind of defeats the purpose. This seems to be working, but... It still it feels really rough. I don't know. It's really rough. See, then I'm just not sure how clean my lines would be when I use it. Um, only one way to find out, right? Let's just grab a piece of paper and some ink and we'll give it a try. Here's my pattern that I used. Let's just we'll just do it over here. if you can hear it the it's kind of chewing at the foam on this blending tool those edges are see it coming off they're pretty rough a brush might be better I'm just gonna go around the edge here oh I don't have to change colors this is just a test see how well are we gonna get into those smaller areas. Yeah, that's not bad. And I could come back in and just fill that middle if I wanted to or change colors. So now I have a flower stencil. So yay. It's not perfect, but you know, I don't ever go for perfect, so that's fine with me. Yeah, those edges are going to catch everything, though. I'll just have to work on cleaning those up a little bit more. I may end up with an X-Acto knife to do it, but that's okay cheaper than, in the long run, cheaper than buying, um, buying a stencil. Not that I don't want to support the small companies and designers who do stencils, I still will. But when you just want something custom or something quick, maybe something that you don't already have. So this was I think less than ten dollars and the fact that it doesn't have a cord here I'll show you my other one that I have used before and you've probably seen these before but it has a cord on it it's this is Chicago tool um, but yeah you can solder with this you can it has different tips and it gets really hot and it does a good job, but you're dragging a cord around behind you, so 
really like the fact that this one is battery operated. It has this cover, but it didn't seem to fit. <laughs> so I don't know what good that's going to do me. So the fact that I got it for half price makes it worth it. Yeah. Not terrible. I'll practice. I'll get better, I think. So... Um, now see, I can just cut this off, and I have all the rest of this piece to use. What I didn't, oh, that'll fit good. So yeah, I may just try to do this one next, and then if it turns out good, I'll come back and show you. Maybe I'll use it in my art journal. All right, I have this one traced. I'm just going to speed this up and cut it out. Hope I don't cut on the wrong line. <laughs> I worked long and hard on these and I've come to the conclusion that this, if it was free, wouldn't be worth it. The tip, I noticed, it's, it's supposed to be angled, but it's got a bend. I'm sure you can't see it because it's so fine, but it's bent, angled this way, but then it's got a little bend this way. And it totally rips up the edges. Can you see how jagged those edges are? So when I try to go around it with like a sponge type tool, it just rips pieces of the sponge off. Um, when I try to wipe it off, it rips up my baby wipe. I mean, it just... It's okay, but I had to work way too hard to get that, and it's not great. I mean, the little flower was fine. Now, I haven't tried to stencil this one yet. It's going to have to totally be taped down. I should have left a much bigger border around it, but that's this one. I mean, they're cut. How useful they're going to be, I don't know. I, I liked her. I mean, here I'll show you again. And I just did it. You can see the flower, that flower through the back of it. But, yeah, I might use her a time or two. I'll try it with a stencil brush and paint, and maybe it'll be better that way. But I don't see myself using that this tool to do much else with. I think it was an expensive experiment, <laughs> even if it was half price. So, um, also might be why it appears they aren't making it anymore. So, now I know. If any of you have this, it's Art, Art C stencil cutting tool. They have a Facebook page. Maybe I'll look at that. There is a number on here, too. Phone number. An 888 number. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it could be me. It could be the Mylar was too heavy. The other thing I really didn't like was having to hold this. I should turn it off, huh? 
was having to hold this button down the minute you let it up it like cools off right now so if you go to say I'm just cutting one of these little pieces out and I want to pick it up if I sit that tool down by the time I pick that out and go to t to cut the next piece this is cooled off already so that's kind of a pain in the butt too then you have to hold the button down and wait for it to heat back up again so I may go back to my old soldering iron with the pointy tip or I'll just buy pre-made stencils which I've been doing for years uh, like I said I haven't cut my own for a very long time so that might have been why I stopped to begin with I maybe I'm just better off buying stuff than supplies type of thing than making some I mean some things are fine make your own other things for me not so much but now you know try it if you want um, I would not recommend it though myartc.com stencil cutter I mean it's a cool concept and I like the fact that it's battery operated but maybe there's other battery operated ones out there that work better I don't know so that's it um, just to kind of FYI video today I'm finally feeling a little better so I think I will do some work in my art journal and just have some fun because this this was not fun this was work and it wasn't worth it so thanks for joining me if you know anything more about these things let me know in the comments down there and in the meantime go make some art bye